attack um, on on someone else's SSH session and gain access that way. Um, and like I said, you definitely don't want to be the hacker who got hacked. So your SSH keys are usually located in this folder. So I'm going to actually just list it first with this command. So we're going to go ls etsy ssh. And if you look here, these six keys are the ones that we're interested in changing. Those are the ones that come default by every. So there wasn't one. These are the ones that you want to make sure are different from everybody else's. You had a problem with running. Oh, there weren't any updates to run? I'm confused. So there wasn't one. I had a problem with running updates and upgrades. Okay. All right, so like I said, so you wanna make sure you change these keys. So you don't want to delete them immediately. I ran, it ran, but nothing loaded. I feel it's because I ran it on VirtualBox. That's weird. So you ran app get update and nothing in the terminal and nothing happened? So I'm I'm gonna double, I'm gonna multitask here. So I'm gonna try to troubleshoot, but I'm also gonna do this as well. So um, like I said, you don't want to delete these keys just yet. You want to make sure. You want to make sure that uh, you you did it correctly first. So what you want to do is you want to make a directory. So the so you want to do mkdir. And we'll call it old keys. Actually, just for the sake of this, we're going to actually move into the directory. So we're going to CD, which means change directory. And then we're going to go Etsy SSH. And now we're back, we're in the directory. So what I did here was I this ls command was basically telling you to list the contents in this folder. Now when we did cd, we actually changed the directory. So now you can actually see this is where we are currently. And now when we ran ls again, we're in this folder. It ran with nothing loaded. I feel it. Did you check your network settings? I think we may have rushed through. I, I, that might have been my fault. Um, check you. Check your network settings. Make sure that you're actually connected to an internet connection. All right. So now that we're in this directory, and like I said, we can see these keys here. Now we want to run the mkdir, which is make a directory, and we're going to call it. We're going to call it old keys. So now if you look here, there's our folder called old keys. Now what you want to do next is you want to move, excuse me, you want to move all six of these original SSH keys into this folder. Um, so you could just do MV SSH host. Oh, by the way, um, quick tip. When you're typing, you can hit the tab button and it'll autocomplete, um, which is a gift and a curse sometimes because sometimes it'll autocomplete or and it'll ask you, hey, do you want to list all 2,000 uh, possible entries? And that's not what you want to do. So you can, like I said, ECD SA key. All right. So you can do it that way. And oh, geez. Into. into old keys. So what we did here, we said move this file into this folder, right? Now you could do that five more times or you could do 
another command, which would be move SSH host, and then this for a wild uh, the star or asterisk for a wild card, and then you want to move it into old keys. So now that should move everything that has SS anything that has SSH host and whatever is after it doesn't matter. So in theory, what should happen is the remaining five keys that we have in there should move into old keys. So we hit enter, we get the command prompt again. Now if we run list, you see there's the old keys folder and then there's three other entries, but the SSH host keys are somewhere else. So now if you list, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ls old keys, there they are. Now again, you could just do cd old keys to move into that folder and then run the ls again and it's there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run the clear command to clear the screen. And now that we have the old keys, we're gonna back out and now we're back into the our SSH folder. So what I did was change directory and then the dot dot which backs which backs us out. So let's see we're gonna clear out. Alright, so now that the keys were moved, what we can do next is create a new key, uh, create a new set of keys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this command here. Reconfigure open SSH dash server. And what this what this uh, command is gonna do is gonna basically regenerate new SSH keys for us. So if you look here, we got a couple keys here. And then if we run the list command, you'll see we have six new SSH keys. But we also want to confirm that these um, that these hashes are different from the last ones. So what we want to do is we want to run the command ND5 sum SSH host underscore asterisk for the wild card. All right, so now these are our MD5 hash keys for our current <clears throat> for our current SSH keys. And then what we want to do again, we want to run the same command, but we want to run the command I did the wrong command. I am sorry. Okay, let's try this one. All right. All right. So those are our MD5 keys there. And then these are the MD5 keys from our old um, MD5 hashes from our old keys. So if you want to just compare real quick you can clearly see that those are different, which means those are new keys as opposed to the ones that we had when we first installed Kali Linux. Again, I wanna apologize. My nerves are just all over the place. I'm just trying to make sure that this stream goes good. This is my first one, so just bear with me. <laughs> 